The general front and center were at the 2013 International Premium Cigar Retailers Convention, the Sands Expo Center in Las Vegas. Up to now, the public has never been allowed on the show floor. It's only for the retailers and the cigar industry. However, this general is going to give you an inside look. Through me, you'll see exactly what goes on. So come on with me. Let's take a walk as we come into the Sands Expo Center. 300,000 plus square feet of absolute cigar paradise and cigar friendliness. If you look around, we can see E.P. Carrillo. I see the Cigar Family Booth, J.C. Newman, Arturo Fuente, General Gurkha. I mean, this is where it all happens. This is where the retailers show up to buy the new cigars, the cigars that you'll see in your uh, retailers' shelves and humidors in the next couple of months. So let's take a walk. And let's take a look at some places. We'll see uh, an inside look. We'll probably see a number of cigar industry uh, insiders. I'm sure they'll be handing us plenty of cigars. And the one important thing that you have to do is make sure you have a lighter and a cutter, which I have, because as we walk, I'm going to get loads of cigars. I have this Juan Lopez, which I've been enjoying. Well, let's take a look here. This is uh, SAG Imports, which is Casada Cigars and Fonseca. And we'll see if we can. Uh, here's Terry Riley from. From Casada and Fonseca. How are you, sir? We're excellent. We are giving our lieutenants a first ever inside look at the Cigar Retailers Convention. I was here earlier this morning. You were slammed. Indeed, we were. It's been very busy, thank God. It's been a great show thus far. Tell us what you have new this year. We've got uh, Oktoberfest. Let's, go Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, well, over here, if you don't mind following me over there. Not way. a problem. Now, the Oktoberfest came out initially last year, two doing years ago, two actually, years ago. But it's, it's always a limited run. We only make uh, an X number of boxes uh, of each size, and we do it for the fall. It's meant to be paired with Marzen-style German beer uh, or any type of malt or wheat-based beer. And, uh, and it's been very successful for us, so it's back again this year in, in, uh, in the sizes you see here. Uh, we also have the Heisenberg cigar, which is... Which is a cigar that uh, we the concept is embrace uncertainty. Uh, Heisenberg was a, a, a physicist who came up with the uncertainty principle, and you can only know so much about anything. And the concept is, hey, smoke it, and if you like it, great. And if you don't, well, at least it's not for the right. You know, you don't like it because you think it doesn't have tobacco from this region or that reason. It's just enjoy it for what it is. It's so uncertain. I've not even had one. Yes, exactly. There's a little it hint. Shows you how uncertain it is. Is that you have not had one? Exactly. Now you've got the new Fonseca Exclusivo. New, yes, sir. new line this year. New line this year. We wanted to capitalize on the Fonseca mark. It's a very famous mark, but it's also known for being a generally a mild cigar. So we didn't want people to pass it by and say Fonseca mild. We wanted to say Fonseca. I haven't had that before. Let me try it. So not only is the presentation a little uh, unique, it's box press cigars. We've never done that with a Fonseca, but it's also double banded. We, we don't generally do that. And the taste profile, it's a notch up from a classic uh, mild cigar. It's more in the low medium range. So you can, for the guy that wants a strong cigar, that first cigar of the day, he can he can smoke and enjoy it. Or you know, someone that's looking to move beyond the very mild range, something that it, it's going to provide him with a lot more taste and flavor without, uh, without bowling him over. As your uncle Manuel Casada says, it has a little bit more personality, personality. than the regular Pulse. Absolutely. Absolutely. I try to keep, not to use his words too much, so I, you know, I, I give him the trademark on it. And we talk to him, but as he also likes to say, I'm up to my ass in alligators. Yeah. Oh, can we say that on, on, on this? You can say anything you on this. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure. You can say everything. <laughs> uh, Terry Riley from uh, uh, Casada and Fonseca Cigars, SAG Imports, thanks very much for the tour. And uh, I'm going to come back a little bit later and smoke a couple of those new cigars. Yeah, I look forward to it. Thank you got for it. Me. All right, let's keep moving along here and see what we've got. We'll go through the booth here. And again, you can see all the action. A lot of retailers are here looking at uh, some of the newer cigars, the writing orders. Jesus, how are you, my friend? Hey, Jesus from SAG Imports, one of the great guys. Let's go over to E.P. Carrillo Cigars, Ernesto Perez Carrillo, the godfather of boutique cigars, the man behind La Gloria Cubana originally. And uh, he and his son, Ernesto Perez Carrillo Jr., have come up with uh, their own brand, E.P. Carrillo. And we'll come over. Here they are right here. We're giving all of our lieutenants and insiders look at the Cigar Retailers Convention. We have Ernesto Perez Carrillo III. We have Lizette Carrillo. And we've got my man, Ernesto, the godfather of premium cigars, Ernesto Perez Carrillo. Good to see you, my friend. One of the great guys in the world of cigars. And we're giving our lieutenants a first ever look at the show floor. So tell us what you have new. And, uh, and what is that contraption, that bull going on over there? Well, I'll let uh, Seth explain it because, and uh, Ernie because they were, um, yeah, wait, wait, you know. What cigar do you have? Tell them about the product. I'm going to steal this cigar, by the way. Thank you, Ernesto. Thank now, what you. is this? This is the um, cigar we're introducing at the show. It's called the East Stunner. And basically, this is something that we're doing for the, uh, I guess you could say, the younger crowd. The younger, the hipper, the millennials. Yeah, uh, very uh, flavorful, you know, strength, um, complexity, 
and um, absolutely, we, we're just doing great with it here. Now, you see these two pens that Ernesto has in his pockets? That's because he needs a second one when the first one runs out of ink after he's writing all the orders. All right, let's go to Lizette and, uh, and Ernie. Now, tell us about this new, the E-Stunner, a little bit different than the EP Carrillo. Very different. So as you can see in the band, it's a bull in the front. So basically, uh, we came up with the idea to have a mechanical bull here. We did a competition. Uh, we gave some specials, and the top 10 guys came back for a buck off, and we gave away a flat screen TV. Beautiful. And Lizette, I know you're keeping an eye on everything. The orders have been flowing. I know that. Orders are flowing. We're very happy with our results the first day. And uh, something else to say about the stunner is that it's not only going to stun you in flavor, but the pricing is just right. What is the price? Well, I have 550 to, to 720. <laughs> see, Ernie knows. He's the, exact. He's the more exact. So that's a reasonably priced cigar. When will we see these on retailer shows? Uh, probably late August. Excellent. So just about a month, five weeks away. Three sizes. All right. Three Make sizes. sure everybody signs the liability waiver before well, they get on the bull. We're getting out of here, man. People yeah. are like bleeding and stuff. <laughs> I, I don't think I want to do that. I'll stick to the easy stuff, smoking a cigar. Yeah. The Carrillo's from EP Carrillo. Good seeing you. And now we're going to go over and let's see. I see John Huber and Mike Condor from Crown Head Cigars, some uh, very longtime friends. Oh, look who we've got, gentlemen. We are giving the lieutenants an inside look. Wait, wait. Before we do anything, can we yes. start on air publicly? Yes. Give me my prompts for this year. Well, uh, Louisville was very lucky because had Syracuse played in the NCAA oh, championship stop, game, stop, they no, would have no, beaten no. the living shit out of Louisville. Oh, please. We can say anything. We're, we're on, we're, we're, we can say anything we want now. This is, this is like serious kind of thing? Yes, exactly. XM we are. serious? What is it? No, no, this is video. This is Cigar Dave HD, baby. You're like Howard Stern. He's like me. Is that what it is? He's you like were, me. You were hey, but he's not, he's not, he's not the, Stern. yes, my friends. No. All right, so uh, let's talk about the crown heads. By the way, where are those chairs that you're going to be sending to my house over there, the fine Corinthian zebra? Yeah. And this is Mike Condor, John Huber, Mrs. Huber over here, uh, who he texts. By the way, did you? Mrs. Huber. Yes, exactly. Okay. Did you tweet? Laura, Laura. Well, I know, but we call her the Missus. Right. Did, did you tweet what you ate for breakfast to Mrs. Huber this morning? I had breakfast with Mrs. Huber. Why would I need to tweet that? Well, but you should still send a picture just so she has it for ask, later in the ask, day. Ask him how many days they've known each other. How many days have you known each other? 1,198. Oh, it see feels that? like what, 4,000? No. I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm just. I'm just joking. That's true. Exactly. All right. Let's talk about Crown Heads. You've got some new cigars. Uh, one name after uh, the famous, uh, famous uh, robber. Correct. Jesse James. Jesse, Jesse James. James. His alias during. Is that a porn star, Jesse James? No, 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 no. I think so. By no. the way, when I first met John, he worked no, for a. Mike. I mean, Mike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When I first met, I know who you. When I first met Mike, he worked yeah. for a large cigar company, very button-down traditional. He used to wear button-down shirts and seersucker blue and white striped suits, what's correct? Wrong, what's wrong with seersucker? I'm just, but now look at you. You're really, you're, you're John Huberized. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm, I'm not. I'm All right, so talk about the, uh, the new, the Come J.D. On. Hayward. Howard. What is yeah. it? Wait, what is it? No, that's a congressman. What is it? Is there editing that's going to happen oh, to this? This is live, baby. We're here having a good time. J.D. Howard is the alias that Jesse James went under when he lived in East Nashville from 1875 to 1881. And actually, Mrs. Huber plays into this because she's the one that brought it to my attention that he actually lived in East Nashville. We used to live there. So, now, is, that the, is that the cigar right there? All right, so tell us about the cigar. The cigar is a Brazilian Adapidaca wrapper, uh, Ecuador Sumatra binder, and Nicaraguan filler made at Tobacco La Alianza in Santiago, Dominican Republic by the gentleman Ernesto Perez Carrillo, the icon. So. One of the greats. And by the way, Great. to say the rapper, let me give you, you got to say it correctly, Brazilian Arapiraca. I can't roll my R's, though. I can't do that. Uh, you know, it's a trick. Uh, I'm a pro. I'm a pro. What can I tell you? Five star. And there, there you go. Let's take a look at the box. Hold on. Open that up. Look at that. Very nice packaging. Would you expect less from us? Not at all. Not at all. Not anybody that wears a pinstripe or a seersucker suit. Beautiful looking packaging. Nice looking. Beautiful looking cigars. All right. Smoke, aren't they? All right, Crown Heads, the J.D. Howard, available when? Now. Now? Suggested retail. Uh, I don't know, eight, nine, ten dollars Mike Condor, John Huber, thanks for the box of cigars. Let's move along, lieutenants. I'll bring that back. I'll come back for that. Don't worry. All right, let's keep moving along here. Now we're going to go into the, here we go, we have the Cigar Family, which is a combination J.C. Newman and Arturo Fuente cigars. They both uh, work very closely, hand in hand. And in fact, Arturo Fuente makes many of the J.C. Newman brands. We're going to come through the booth here. And as you can see, some retailers, they're signing up. We'll see uh, Bobby Newman, who we saw earlier today. And Bobby, we, we're giving our lieutenants an exclusive first ever look at the IPCPR show floor. You've been busy writing a lot of orders so far, so good? Absolutely. First of all, long ashes to you. Back at you. 
And honored uh, to be on your show. We appreciate everything. We love all of our cigar smokers. And uh, just, just tell your congressmen and senators, do not let the FDA regulate us. Screw the enemies of pleasure, lieutenants. Remember that. We want to enjoy our cigars without excessive taxation and regulation. We enjoy them. They're an, an occasional hobby. We don't want to be lumped with any other uh, tobacco group, right? Amen, brother. Said well? Could, perfect. Perfect. That's why I'm a five star. All right. Oh, Drew, you want to give me a diamond crown? I'll take a diamond. Why don't you give me a box of that uh, the diamond crown? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> see, you, you got to be a little bit of a schnorr when you work it. Bobby, I'll see you later. Oh, Drew's going to give me the box. Beautiful. I'll come back for that. All right, let's keep moving along here. And we see there's uh, the great Carl Herzog over of, of Arturo Fuente. Carl, anything uh, new that J.C. Newman is launching, that Arturo Fuente is launching? Cufflinks. Uh, the Fuente story, a limited edition amount of cufflinks, 250 pieces, uh, should be available to ship within the next 45 days. Custom made, 200 pieces. And it comes with how many boxes of Fuente Fuente Opus X? Uh, what we're doing in each, with each uh, box that we sell, we give Dave's uh, the Cigar General's number so you can get them through us. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Generous guy. Carl, we'll see you later. We'll continue walking along here as we go through the booth. And again, what we see here is a mix of the larger cigar manufacturers, the boutique cigar manufacturers, and this is just one, one aisle. If you look down here, there's about 25 rows that takes up the entire Sands Expo Center. So as you can see, we've got Gran Habano over here, and we'll come over this way. We'll go over to uh, Gurkha. We'll see my good buddy, Kaizad Hansosha, who always makes great cigars, great packaging. We'll find Kaiser. We'll see who's around. He's in a meeting? Well, we're going to interrupt him in a meeting. That's not a problem because we're giving our lieutenants an inside tour. Gentlemen, we are interrupting a meeting. We're giving our cigar lieutenants an exclusive inside tour of the IPCPR convention. There is the king right there in his throne, Kaiser Hansosh, a longtime friend. Kaiser, come up, because I want to talk about what is new and exciting in the world of uh, Gurkha this year here at the IPCPR. And I know you're going to want to tell all the lieutenants about it. Last year, the Gurkha Ghost, very, very well. The seduction, you got uh, big shoes to, to fill this year. Well... We got the Rogue, we got the Rogue, uh, and we also have the Cellar Reserve Maduro, and uh, we have the Prize Fighter. And the Prize Fighter? And the Prize Fighter, sir. Come All on. right, I want to see that Prize Fighter. And by Craig Cass from the Tinderbox, who is uh, the host every year of the Cigar Dave Live Broadcast Invasion of Charlotte. Let me ask you, so far, so good on the IPCPR, not only you're a big retailer, but you're on the board, I believe, aren't you? I'm on the board, I'm on the executive committee, great show, uh, a lot of booze, more booze than we ever had. Uh, 350,000 square feet, uh, well attended. We always love Vegas. We see our retailers really come to Vegas every year, so we think it's a home run. Now, let me ask you, in terms of the cigars you're seeing so far, anything exciting you? I can tell you there are so many new releases, there are so many new cigars, and the thing we worry about is retailers, we have finite space. Build a bigger humidor. Build bigger humidors, oh, but I, I keep walking around. I keep seeing things I want to buy in every booth. It's unbelievable. What did you see? Give me three, four that you've seen that you like. Well, it's first day. Uh, of course, we like some of the Syndicato stuff. Right. Jim Colucci's done a great job. Uh, Gurkha, I'm here in the uh, Gurkha booth. Uh, there's a new Cellar Reserve that looks spectacular. Uh, the, there's a new Four Kicks uh, cigar coming out. I'm blank on the name right now. J uh, what do we call it? Was the uh, the, Hay the Howard? The J.D. Howard, hey, Howard. Howard, I think. It looks, looks fabulous. Um, a lot of great things. There's a new Monte Cristo with Altus. In fact, uh, I had that. I've got the Juan Lopez I'm enjoying right now. A lot of great stuff. Now, Craig, would you say this show is just brutal? It is brutal, Dave. It's brutal, man. It's brutal to work, and I'm shocked with I'm how much shocked. we're buying. We always like having a good time with Craig. Great host every year. We do it at the beginning of June in Charlotte. 14 years we've been doing it. We're going to do it again next year. we got to do the 15th. Hope, 15th. You, hope you guys will be there. We will definitely be there. All right, let's find uh, Kaiser. He's going to give us a tour of some of the other stuff. I don't know where he went. Where'd he go? Oh, he's working it. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna continue on, but you heard what uh, Gurkha's launching, and you take a look at this booth. I remember when Kaiser started, he basically had maybe four or five little booths. Now you take a look, it's like a gigantic living room, so it's really incredible what you see. Now we see General Cigar over here. We're gonna go over to my buddy, Rick Rodriguez. Let's see if we can find Rick. Rick is a very good friend, been in the cigar business for a long time lives in the cigar city of Tampa, and they're uh, bringing out a new cigar called Flathead. And let's just give you a quick tour because you can see how big this booth is. It is huge. It has just grown exponentially. They've got the Dunhill now, the Foundry. We will talk with Mike Giannini. We'll see if we can get him. We've got uh, Macanudo, as you can see. They're 
flagship brand. Rick Rodriguez of CAO Cigars, just the guy we were looking for. Hey, Dave, Mr. Flathead, good. How you doing? I'm doing great. Good, First good. day of the show, we're giving our lieutenants an insider's look, never seen before. Oh my God. It was a great show, great day. I have a great show. show's not on. over, Rick. No, I, I wanted to be over, it isn't. But oh, wait, you got a lot more orders to write. You don't yeah, want it to be okay, over okay. just yet. Yeah, but it was a great day, and uh, the uh, cigar uh, so far is a great cigar. All right, let's talk about I your like Flathead. That. Let's go over in the CAO area here, because the Flathead cigar is a unique concept. How come I don't have one of those Flathead shirts by the way, Rico. Uh, we're going to give you one. Of course Dave. you are. Yeah. So this is the uh, new Flathead cigar from uh, CEO based on the old car engines from the uh, 30s from Ford. So if you see it, really? Day, so. And so we have uh, four sizes, a, uh, a Lancero 42, we have a 54, a 60, and a 70. Open that up. Let's see Let the cigar. Me so this is the Lancero right here. Beautiful. Box press and a flat head. I'm going to take okay. that, Rick, because yep. I'm going to smoke that. That is a beautiful looking stick. Now, tell me about the wrapper filler binder, Rick. The uh, wrapper is going to be a Connecticut broadleaf, and the filler is going to be uh, from Nicaragua. But the beauty of this filler uh, is the, if you want body, you go to the uh, 54 or the 42. If you want flavor, go to the 60 or the 70. This is a 70 box press flat head. Suggested retail, when will our lieutenants be able to buy these at their retailer? All right, it's going to come out, I think, on uh, September this 12th. Uh, retail price is going to be from uh, low, it's going to be $675 uh, to $950. Excellent. Well, this is a very cool concept. I know you've been working with Ed on this, yep. who does great work. So there he is. I know where he is. That's why I, I acknowledged him. Ed McKenna, the brand manager. Very cool stuff, Ed. Very different. Come on over. What was the uh, the philosophy behind uh, this particular? I'm going to sneak back over here with you. But what was the the philosophy, the idea? How did you come up with this? Uh, you know what? Rick has been on the road now for the better part of two and a half years. He goes out there. He talks to all your lieutenants, and he's talking to them about a couple things. Cigars, cars girls and food. So we tried to take as many of those concepts and blend them together into one project and that's Flathead. Very cool. Very neat concept. I like the price point. I like the real nice square press. Very, very nice. And uh, this is something CEO has been doing, kind of going a little edgier. Like last year you had the, uh, right, the concert cigar and now with the Flathead, definitely something unusual. Definitely towards that um, millennial generation. Absolutely, I mean, CAO's always had the license to kind of break out of the mold and do things that have never been seen before, and that's what we're gonna continue to do and try and do with CAO. When you're done here, come over to my house, my oil needs changing in my car. <laughs> Since you guys look like, yeah, don't they look like they beat the Jiffy Lube saying, sir, would you like the extra windshield wipers replaced, or would you like, we, we give you free fluid top-offs every 20,000 miles. Absolutely. But good to see you. Ed McKenna, Rick Rodriguez of CAO, uh, cigars, good to see you from General Cigar. And we'll move along here. I tell you, it's almost uh, 5 o'clock here and they wrap up the show floor, but we're going to continue walking. There's Brian from Chinook Cellars, winemaker. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now, what are you launching? You are uh, out in Napa, California. We launched uh, Terroir this year. Let's uh, keep walking. Terroir, and tell us about that. Terroir is the, uh, the first pewter uh, metal band cigar. We, uh, we launched that. Uh, and it's, uh, it's going well. It's going actually uh, viral right now. Hopefully uh, tomorrow night will be uh, announced as uh, Cigar of the Year for Cigar Journal. But we, uh, we're waiting to see what the results are. And you also make great wine. We make great wine. And Did you bring wine. any? We got some at the booth. Well, Come we're, by. We're coming by and we're going to have a little wine. Right, right across, right, right behind that pillar. All right, Brian Shinnick from Shinnick Cellars. And they've also got the uh, their cigars as well. So we'll see you. Right. All right, Thanks. we're going to go over here. We've got uh, La Flor Dominicana. I'm going to see if I can find. I see Lito Gomez. Let me see if I can find uh, Tony Gomez. Let's say hello to Lito. Lito, we're giving our cigar lieutenants, good to see you, my friend. We are giving our cigar lieutenants a first ever look inside the show floor. And I know last night, Tony, your son, gave me a brand new cigar called Chapter One. Very cool chisel. It looks like a dark Maduro, beautiful looking stick. All right. Thanks for the notice. <laughs> of course we noticed. I, you can't miss Tony. He's about 7'3". Should have been playing on the Miami Heat. But let's talk about you the last number of years. Really launched some great cigars. The uh, Lajero, the Double Lajero, the Chisel. You've really almost changed your whole portfolio. Oh, we did over the years. Uh, it, it was, it's great to, uh, to have access to newer tobaccos with uh, uh, great qualities and uh, uh, to be able to make different blends. And uh, as our palates change over the years, so our cigars have to change also. It gets stronger, fuller bodies, more flavor, and uh, La Flor Dominicana has 
become known for fuller body cigars. Well, and you grow a lot of your own cigar tobaccos right on your farm. Yes, yes, with 70% of the tobacco that we use in all, our, in, in all our blends is grown in-house, yes. What else uh, new do we have this year? Uh, we have the uh, chapter one, which is the uh, uh, new chisel, uh, 60 ring gauge, uh, box press, um, a Maduro wrapper, um, full body, and then we have a limited edition of an A, uh, a new version it's of an A. Cigar. Yeah, it's it's a long cigar. Right. It, it's not the, the typical nowadays big ring gauge. It's a 49 ring gauge, which na nowadays it looks like a panatella. Yeah, exactly. You're right. you, you look at a church now and it looks like a panatella. Well, I was saying, uh, I'm going back to enjoying Corona size cigars. Uh -huh. I love the Corona size. Yeah, yeah, but, but uh, it's amazing that. Uh, have have the the preference for uh, larger ring gauges uh, has taken over, and I don't know if it will ever go back. I don't know. I, I don't think so. I think you're right. People like the larger ring gauges, but I think people, you know, it, it goes back and forth. A little bit of everything. And a little quick story. When Lito started, he actually was a jeweler, correct? Yes. Was yes a jeweler, was and then he got in the cigar business, loved cigars. I had him on my show, got to be about 17 years ago in Tampa, and as his wife came in, it was Los Libertadores. Yes, absolutely. Right before Great it came memory. Off. That's right. We had Great lunch. Uh, we were on the show, had lunch at the Columbia, and uh, you've grown oh, exponentially. Yeah, 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 a lot, a lot of changes. Happy changes in our company since then. Uh, 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 a lot of growth. Controlled growth, steady growth, uh, and uh, we we couldn't be any happier today uh, uh, with the uh, development of our company. So, uh, and thanks to guys like you that uh, that always gave us support from the beginning. So. Uh, well, you make great cigars, Lito, and I know every time I go into Edwards or I go to Cigar Cave and the, in the Tampa Bay area, they're always telling me Lito's stuff and, moves and, like crazy. And you don't look one day older, my friend. Yeah, I, uh, I don't, that's uh, bullshit. Uh, I don't buy that. And by the way, the only guy, people say you should get a hat like Lito. I'm like, I can't pull it off. Lito just looks good in the white suit and the white hat. You know, you just pull it off. So always great to see you. And we're going to have you on our uh, live television show in the next couple of days. So great looking. And I see to Tony. Can you stand up and write some orders and work a little bit? I mean, your dad's doing all the work. Let's bring Tony uh, Gomez, who's Lito's son. Tony, chapter one, you yes, gave sir. me a good to see you. We're giving a live exclusive insider look at the Cigar Retailers Convention. Beautiful. And uh, by the way, people don't know this, but Tony uh, moonlights as a uh, center for the Miami Heat when he's not selling cigars <laughs> for La Florida Dominicana. But let's talk about uh, chapter one. I told your yes. dad, I told you, wait a minute, shouldn't it be chapter two? Your dad was chapter one, but you said, no, I'm writing a new chapter. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's uh, it's the beginning of a new story the way I see it. You know, it's, uh, it's my first venture and... Uh, I thought the name was very appropriate, you know. <laughs> Tell me about the blend. Uh, we got a we got a Brazilian Oscuro wrapper. Um, we got a Connecticut broadleaf binder, which I think is kind of the X factor in the cigar. I think it adds a very different dimension uh, than anything we've done before. And uh, the filler is 100% Dominican from our farm, and uh, got a very powerful cigar. Um, and he got some great, I think, some some very dark chocolate kind of roasted coffee notes to it that uh, that I really enjoy. Well, you gave me one last night. I haven't smoked it yet, but when my palate clears, I cannot wait to get that. And I see you in Tampa all the time. Every time I'm going to Seasons 52 for dinner or for lunch, guess who I see? see we catch you there. Tony, all the time. Exactly. But they're not cigar friendly. Next time you come to town, we'll go to somewhere cigar days, friendly. Days. I would love to. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Tony Gomez, Lito Gomez of La Flora Dominicana. Good to see you as, as always. And congratulations on Chapter Uno. Appreciate it. All right, we will continue on. They're about to wrap up for the day here. Five o'clock is when they normally call it quits. But we're going to continue on here and just take a quick look. We've got Davidoff off to the left, and we've uh, had them on the live broadcast. We're going to go in here. I see that we've got uh, Rafael Nodal and uh, Hank Bischoff are probably around. We're going to go in and jump in real quickly and say hello to Rafael and, and Hank. Aging Room Boutique Blends. Gentle I like the vibe here. Very hip, very uh, very South Beach. like the music. Dave, just like you. Thank right. you for being here. Let me, Rafael Nodal, Hank Bischoff, the two gentlemen that uh, initially had Olivero cigars, now boutique blends. They make the swag, the aging room. We've had the aging room and swag as our officers club. Absolutely. Great cigars. And about three years ago, you launched uh, uh, swag and I think aging room off the charts now. Off the charts. We are doing fantastic. It's been received not only by critics, but the consumers very well. And this year, we're introducing a tremendous new amount of blends. Let's take a look at it. Take a look at these beautiful. We had one in your office not long ago. Beautiful. That's correct. That's the correct. M21. The M21 Fortissimo. Fortissimo is a musical term that says a strong, and that's what this cigar delivers. A lot of flavors, a lot of body, and it's perhaps, Dave, it's perhaps 
if not the stronger, one of the stronger cigar ever to come from a Dominican factory. And that's not, I mean, that's a statement, that's a very strong statement. you got to have big balls to smoke this uh, new AG uh, Room M21. Absolutely, and it's, listen, the presentation, the cigar, this is all tobacco, very small production, only 3,000 boxes of 10 cigars. One size, that's it, a perfecto. One size only, this preferido, perfecto, that is, 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 is very authentic, puro dominicano. All from the uh, farm, all the tobacco from the farm of Hoshi Blanc, our partner in Dominican, from La Canela that is uh, is over here, that is, is, is producing some of the best tobacco in Dominican. And we also introduced another Maduro, this actually one Maduro, which is the aging room. Since we came out, Dave, with the aging room and the swag, everyone has been asking us, where is the Maduro, where is the Maduro? Well, perfection takes time, and that's what we have delivered a perfect cigar. The Maduro, the aging room, is all Dominican, Ligero, and a Dominican Dominican blend with the filler and the binder of Dominican Habano. But on the wrapper, we use an extremely well-aged, over seven years, the Maduro Nicaraguan wrapper. And look at that cigar. It's a beautiful, oily, nice beautiful shine. oil, and it's a natural Maduro. Now, painting, not tainted. If you want a black painting oil, don't smoke cigars. Go and get something else. But if you want a natural Maduro, this is what this is del delivered. The aging room uh, is, is a brand that will allow us to continue to introduce a small batch releases like the M21 and like the Maduro wrapper. I remember when we talked about it, this is about three years ago, you said you had a very unique concept and that you wanted something from the aging room. And that's exactly how you named it. And you gave me some samples to smoke. I thought they were great. And now you're going to uh, smaller batch type cigars. These, when they're done, these are probably going to be done. It is when it's done, it's done. And that's the beauty of that. Because the tobacco changes from one year to another. But with a small batch, that's what we've done. We get the tobacco necessary for that production. And when it's gone, it's gone. Because there's just not any other tobacco available. So when you want a smoke, one of a small batches brand, that's what you get every single time the same cigar. It will not change from year to year because when it changed, no more, no longer. Well, I'll tell you what, suggested retail on the Maduro and the M21. This, this is a suggested retailer for uh, $12.90 a cigar. Keep in mind, eight years old, tremendous, tremendous value for what you get. And in addition, this is eight to nine dollars. And by the way, we also introduced the swag, and you mentioned the hip, the 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 concept. Well, that's what we are doing, but we just introduced the new swag. Let's take a walk over there and look at the Swag S. Now, because initially you brought the Swag out, then you had the Swag South Beach, which a lot of power, a lot of flavor, done very well. Just uh, you're not doing the humidors anymore. That was a limited ten. That that's was it. A limited is a no more. Tremendous work, and it was an amazing, uh, very good response. But I have to tell you, the Swag is a line that it was uh, designed with a John Smoker in mind. Because I have to tell you, some people are just tired of the old brands, the old concepts, the old flavors, and that's what this new Swag S is producing. Look, presentation, hip, very nice, but what is important is not the presentation, it's the cigar. So this uses the Nicaragua Maduro we're using for uh, the aging room. This is aged about five to six years, so a little bit less on the aging. Nevertheless, it produces tremendous aroma, tremendous flavor, and one of the things, they're all big ring sizes, they. But one thing that we did differently that most cigar manufacturers are doing, normally when you get a brand, you develop the blend in one size, normally a ring 50 or a 52. What we done, we, and then when you go to the big ring sizes, you adjust the blends bigger, or you adjust the, uh, the blend to a smaller ring size. But on this particular line, we blend every size specifically for that size. So it's not like we adjusted this blend specifically for that. So for example- It's a fuller flavored cigar? This is a medium to full medium flavor cigar, all Dominican with that Nicaragua one. But uh, let me tell you, the flavor that you get on this is powerful. And suggested retail and number of sizes? Seven to eight dollars and five different sizes. That it goes from the 54 ring sizes to these massive. Those are monsters. Massive, what size is this? Massive, seven by 70, and that's the boss. It is an amazing you cigar. You know, I, I, I tell you what, there's nothing like the sort of a. Wait, wait. No, no, there's nothing like the sort of a gorgeous dame with one of these swag gigantes in her mouth. By the way, I'm telling you that right now. Batteries not included. I was going to say. In those uh, beautiful swag. But that's, it is for the people that are looking for these ring sizes. You don't have to compromise in order to have a big, uh, big ring size in flavor and aroma. This is what you get when you get a 7x70. It's being blended specifically for that size. Rafael Nodal, the future fill-in host for the Cigar Dave Show. 
Uh, front and center here from the Boutique Blends Aging Room Swag booth. Good to see you, Rafael, Thank as you always. Day. Thank and you. one of the most hospitable guys whenever I come down. We have a great time, enjoy some Cafe Cubano, cigars, and uh, just have an enjoyable time. And that's what cigars are all about. That's what it's all about. Friends, good drinks, good food, and good cigars. Thank you very much, Dave. And great dames. Don't forget about that. Rafael Nodal, Hank Bischoff. Hank, does he, Rafael let you talk at all, by the way? Can I say anything, Rafael? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he lets me talk all the time. There's no problem. I can just, say just, pretty just, much whatever I want, right? Yeah. Whatever I want. No just problem. out in the booth. Um, only on the white carpet, not outside. Once I hit the line over there. There you go. All right, gentlemen, thanks. We're going to continue our tour. Great looking booth. And we see over here there's integral lighters. They make the Lotus. Uh, they've got also a Bugatti cigar. Here's Alec Bradley. Let's walk in here to Alec Bradley very quickly. And we'll see uh, Alan Rubin. We'll see George Sosa, their VP of sales. I'll see if I can find Sammy Phillips, one of their uh, marketing uh, geniuses. George, we're giving our lieutenants an exclusive. We've got Ralph Montero right here, giving our lieutenants an exclusive inside look at what goes on at the IPCPR show floor. George Sosa, one of the road warriors for Alec Bradley. He is the VP of sales, one of the great guys. Ralph Montero, uh, one of the uh, partners in Alec uh, Bradley Cigars. How many years have uh, uh, well, you been in the cigar business now? 25? 31. 31? 31. You started when you were six. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And, and actually, there was a great cigar called Montero yes. that was made, which one of the great cigars. That's right. That was uh, way back. That's right. Now you're with uh, you and Alan Rubin are, are doing some great work. Let's talk about some of the new cigars that you've launched. Finally, the Mundial. Let's go take a look. Let's go. The, and I don't know. Is Sammy around or uh, Alan? I, we, Oh, they went to the uh, hospitality suite. That's where we're going to be going. I don't think they allow cameras in there, though. But this is the Mundial, which I remember Alan six years ago at lunch said, Dave, I'm coming out with this new brand called Mundial. And every year I'd say, when's Mundial? Next year. Next, Next year has yeah. finally arrived. Finally, finally, after five years. This is uh, made by Raices Cubanas. Um, you know, it's, they all have a unique, we call it the, the Punta, Punta Lanza. Uh, it's, uh, all the cigars have a, have a, have a tip. Uh, let me see. A, a figurado nice tip, perfecto, right? yep, a little bit of a perfecto tip, uh, blended with uh, three types of uh, of Nicaraguan, one type of Honduran in the filler, two binders, and then the wrapper. Seven cigar, seven tobaccos in this blend. And this is made in Nicaragua or this Honduras? Is made in uh, Honduras at the Reyes Cubana factory. Honduras and uh, suggested retail. Uh, they're in the fourteen to sixteen dollar range. And when will these be available? September. Okay, so about uh, six, seven weeks away. Yes. Excellent. And uh, now we're going to go to the Raices Cubanas, which is named after the factory. That's correct. Uh, the, the founder, um, Romayan de Maño, uh, the 1941 is for his birth year. Uh, they wanted to, you know, they've been making cigars for the last 10 years. They make some of our great cigars. They make some of the Ilusiones, some of the other, and they wanted to have their own, their own brand. So we have a very good relationship with them. They came to us. We, we said, this is a great idea. And, uh, you know, also September will be coming out. Suggested retail and sizes? Uh, it's four sizes. It's very standard, 60 ring gauge, Churchill Robusto Toro. Uh, September, uh, it's like 8 to 10. And, and medium body? This is a medium body. The Mundial is a medium to full. Medium to full. Excellent. Ralph Montero of uh, Alec Bradley Cigars. I think I'm going to see you later tonight, correct? Or when's your suite? No, you got tomorrow. a big party. Tomorrow's the big party. Gigantic party. Maybe we'll allow cameras in. We'll see. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, we will come in with a camera. There you go. All right, Ralph Montero, good to see you. And uh, George Sosa, one of the great guys. George has always got great jokes, but none that we can air on television or radio. George Sosa, one of the great guys. As we continue walking here, you see Davidoff. They're shutting the lights now. And you could go, greetings, you could go literally three, four days and not hit everything. And that's why this show is really incredible. But we wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of what it's like to see what the retailers that you buy your cigars at, what they go through, where they're walking. You hear about IPCPR, but you never really get the opportunity to see it. Well, now we've given you a behind the scenes look. You've walked the show floor. We're gonna end up at Altadas here. They've launched the new Monte by Monte Cristo. And let's just take a look here. Look at all the cigars they've got hidden back there. If we could get a key and get that, we would all be very happy campers. So I hope you enjoyed the tour that we gave you today of the 2013 IPCPR convention from the Sands Expo Center in Las Vegas. Cigar Dave, the general is always saying, Mayor Humidor always be full, Mayor Cutter always be sharp, Mayor Ash be extra, extra long, long, fantastic ashes.